In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the slope in Google Sheets. So there's a few different ways we can do this. I'm going to show you how to create a chart and use the chart to show the equation of the slope. And then I'm going to show you how to use the slope function, which can calculate the slope without even needing a graph for. So slope, what slope is, is it's a measure of the ste steepness of a line. So it'll basically describe the direction of the line, whether it's positive or negative, and how steep it is. Um, the general formula for slope is rise over run. So the first way I'm going to show is just creating a chart and then adding the slope equation or the equation of the trend line to the chart. So the first thing I'm going to do is highlight the data. So in this example, I have this data um, with these numbered months and I have sales revenue for each month and I'm going to create a chart um, with this data set. So I can either go to the insert chart option in the toolbar or you can go to insert in the top menu and then select chart. So there's a few different chart types um, that we can use here. I am going to do a scatter chart. So I'm just going to scroll down and scatter chart. So the first thing that I might want to do is just show the trend line. And so you can do that in Google Sheets um, by coming to customize over in the chart editor. So if your chart editor ever disappears, if you're not familiar with charts, just click on your chart. Um, so anyways, you want to come over to the customize tab, series, and then if you scroll down, trend line. So this will actually show you the trend line in your chart. But now if you want to see the equation, you have to come down to this label option and then use equation. And now you can see the equation that to calculate this trend line is in here. So everything to the left of this um, X is the slope. So the slope in this one is 1,155. So that is one way to find the slope and to show the trend line of your chart if you want to create a chart for your data. The other option you don't need to create a chart for even is just to use the slope function in Google Sheets. So this is the basic syntax of the slope function. You have to put in your Y data first and then your X data. So just to show you how that would look in your spreadsheet. I'm just going to do that up here. So equals slope. And then first you want to put in your Y data. So I'm going to put that range in here. And then I'm going to put in my X data. So this range will be in there. Add my closing parentheses. Calculate. So you can see between the two methods, the slope is the exact same. 1,155. If you like visualization, this is probably a better method and you get the full equation. Um, but if you're just trying to quickly calculate slope, the slope function is very useful too. So those were two different methods. I'm going to place a link to the blog post in the description of this video if you would like to read through this in more detail. Otherwise, just let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.